It's week 32 of Zer, and I'm going to let you guys know my recommendations for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you enjoy learning all things about Destiny, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell. That way you guys don't miss out on any future videos. So, as I said, it is week 32 and Zer is located on IO by the giant Scar. So we're going to mark him and find out what he has this week. Zer, what's up dude? There is, I am in so, like always, we're going to start with the left hand side, the weapon of the week. It is the Vigilance Wing. It is an exotic pulse rifle, and the intrinsic perk on this is Harsh Truths, which this weapon fires a five round burst. When a nearby ally is killed, gain health regeneration and increase movement speed. Then we have Corkscrew Rifling, Alloy Magazine, Last Stand, which improves weapon performance when its wielder is the last living member of the fire team, and then we have Composite Stock. And like all exotics, they come with a plus five weapon attack mod on weapons. I will just say this. This thing is destroying the meta. Go ahead and grab it. Right now, because of update 1.1.4, this thing is just like everywhere. Five round burst. Grab it. It's just, it's top tier. Top tier, and I probably would rate this a tier one in PvE and PvP. And... I really can't say anything bad about it because it's majority used, or well, at least in PvP at least. Uh, but definitely go ahead and grab this. Just just go ahead and grab it. If you don't have it, just just do it. You know, <laughs> save yourself time, effort, and freaking legendary shards, and just grab it. Oh, again, if you guys don't know my tier scale, I will put it in the description below. That way, you guys can check that out. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Foe Tracer for the Hunter. This comes with two mobility and one resilience. And try to perk on this is Relentless Tracker, which visually marked targets, uh, visually marked targeted enemies deals more damage to low health marked enemies. And then we have Plasteel Reinforcement Mod, Restorative Mod, as well as Energy Bracket Mod. Now, the effect of Foe Tracer is good, but it is not good in competitive PvP. Now, it doesn't just mark with the X on enemies, but it also um, gives you a better... Um, how do you say a better mini map as well? But like I said, in competitive PvP, I probably wouldn't get this just because you can't use a mini map in competitive PvP anymore, anyways. So because of that, I'm going to rate this maybe a tier 2.5 in PvP for regular Crucible, but definitely get to tier 5 in competitive because it obviously is useless. But for PvE, ugh. I gotta give it a tier three, just because you really don't need this. There are better exotics to use than this um, in PVE, and I, I would probably just use those instead. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Peacekeepers for the Titan class. And this also comes with uh, two mobility and one resilience. And trying to perk on this is Mecha Holster, which reloads stowed submachine guns and allows you to ready them instantly. Then we have Mobility Enhancement Mod, and restorative mod and this also comes with a self repairing mod now i am not a fan of exotics that specifies a specific gun and in this case it'd be submachine guns because what if you don't use submachine guns and you, you like to use i don't know anything else this doesn't help you out at all it's a great effect and if you do use submachine guns yeah it is good but all around pve and pvp it's really not that good and if you're going to use something that is auto fire in PvE, you might as well go with an auto rifle because they do a lot more damage, and especially at a longer range. So, in PvP, if you are one of those people who actually like submachine guns and you use them a lot, let's say if you have the uh, Antiope D and its predecessor, then yeah, go ahead, use these, and de it'll help you out tremendously. But if you don't run a gun with a submachine gun, then it's kind of pointless. As for PvE, uh, like I said, auto rifles are probably better for this. So I'm probably going to rate this a tier 3 in PvE, but a tier 3.5 to possibly even a tier 4 in PvP. 
Next exotic we'll be going over is the Vesper of Radiance. And terms of perk on this is Planetary Torrent, which Rifts release an Arc Shockwave when cast. Rift energy recharges faster when you are surrounded by enemies. And then we have Plasteel Reinforcement mod, Restorative mod, and this also comes with an Arc Ordinance mod. Now this is an okay exotic, you know, ugh, I don't know. It's an okay exotic for the Warlock, probably one of the better ones for um, your Stormcaller. And I apologize, this also does come with three resilience and one recovery, getting back to what I was saying. It is a good exotic for your Stormcaller, but it's not top tier. You don't see people around, you know, be like, hey, I got to get a Vesper of Radiance. It just doesn't happen, you know, because there are better exotics out there to use. And um, the Orpheus, I'm sorry, I was going to say Orpheus rigs. The uh, Ophidian aspect as well as the Netherrex Sin are probably good examples of better exotics to get other than the Vesper of Radiance. That's just me. But if you like um, dot damage because of the shockwaves, hey, go ahead, grab it. But it's more so a PvE exotic than a PvP one. So I am probably going to have to rate this a tier 3 to 3.5 in PvP, but definitely probably a tier 2.5 in PvE. As for our consumables, we have your three of coins, which when you pop one of this, for the next four hours, you have a chance to get an exotic. And last but not least, we have your faded engram, which will reward you with an exotic that you do not already have. Here's your disclaimer. If you don't have one of these, go ahead and grab this first before popping this, because if you don't, then you have a chance to grab one of these for 97 legendary shards. And if you enjoyed this video, then feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.